My mom's here for the last time. She's here, she's on holiday. She came over for my graduation. <laughs> Tomorrow she's leaving. <laughs> and um, I was meant to see her yesterday for dinner with my sister and the kids and there was a flat tire and I couldn't make it. <laughs> anyway, we met for lunch today. And I was getting notifications on my phone about fraudulent charges in the US. And the bank was contacting me. Okay. Um, anyway, I was waiting on the bank to call me back. Okay. Then my mom starts. Yeah, and by this point, she's already in a really, really fucking weird mood. And my sister has warned me at this point. We just walked into Target. And my sister goes, she's cracking it again, you know. Mm -hmm. She's got the look on her face, the scouring, the swearing the just so derogatory the way she speaks to people right. and so she's trying to tell me something about how oh this happens all the time and it doesn't matter what is happening in my life it is dismissed right. to every level now i'm aware that if there's fraudulent charges at the bank the bank deals with it I wasn't worried about that i just wanted to dealt with but she was looking at me in a way it was so and I'm too old for this shit. I am so past being spoken to like I'm worth dirt. And all I did, all I did was say, please, please don't speak to me like this. We just have a normal conversation. Right. So she, she loses it. And she tells me she never wants to see me ever again. Okay. Tell me, what got your mum so upset or angry? She's just like this. Like, I had been dealing with a flat tyre, and it wasn't my fault, obviously. It's a flat tyre, you know, and the main insurance baby car people came out and couldn't get there last night, and I'd said to them that I have the appointment with you at three, and they were like, well, can you change the doctor appointment? And I'm like, no, I can't, it's too hard. But if you meet me, you know, in the morning, it's plenty of time. And they were like, we'll meet you at 11.30. And I was like, can we please make it 11? And they, they told me it was fine. Right. Um, this morning I got up and I was getting my neighbor to grab my motorbike. Yeah. Because he's going to sell it on my behalf. Right. And we noticed the tire was flat again. Okay. So he pumped it up and I drove to the tire store and I got it all worked out. And okay. I let my sister know I'll still be there before 11. Okay. Right. And I, knowing it's my mum's last day and the last time I'm going to see her, thought that would be at least okay and then they tell me they're leaving right when i'm about to get there so i'm just sitting in the car park for like 40 minutes mind you and it's just everything on them right but then the kids were cracking it and i don't know what was going on like i am a very real person when i got out of the car i was telling mom about because i'm packing up to leave to go to queensland mm -hmm. like that's why I needed to see you, obviously. Okay. And um, everything's ready to go, so to speak. Okay. And um, I just really wanted to see her. And I don't know what happened, but like I said, we walked into Target and my sister was giving me the heads up, like she's cracking it again. <laughs> but when she started, and oh, I can't, like it's so disgusting. And Nicole's recently helped me see, you know, that people speak to me in ways that I'm allowed to stand up for myself. And that's all I did. It wasn't that I didn't want to hear her conversation. It wasn't any of that. All I asked was that she please speak to me in a nicer way. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously that turned out I never want to see you ever again abusing me in the middle of a store. Mind you, I've got the bank calling me. <laughs> I'm about to break into tears. I openly admit I'm sensitive. I'm doing what I can, but I'm still sensitive. And I go out to the car and my sister's like, can we come and see you? And I'm like, I can't, I can't stop crying. I was crying so much that the man on the phone at the bank was asking me if I was safe, if I needed help. Like, I took Valium. 
to all calm, calm down. And they came out and I gave them a hug. And my mum gave me this like, half ass, see ya. <laughs> when I got back into my car and they were parked next to me and I just cried and cried. <laughs> and my sister was like, tell my mum, say something, do something. <laughs> talk to her and mom's like why I don't want to what about and I just was like it doesn't matter she doesn't care and she walks around and I hear mom say I don't care I really actually don't care <laughs> so she opens the door and I'm like if you don't care why waste your time and she's like, all you do is cry. You make everything about you. You got out of the car. You wouldn't stop talking. And I was like, because you're my mum, I'm leaving. You're leaving. And like, I'm keeping you up to date. And my mum has already said to me since being here that superficial talk is what we should be doing. Talking about the weather. And I'm like, well, hey, the fucking hell am I wanting to spend the time talking about the weather with my mom? Like, that doesn't even make any sense, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm telling you about stuff because my friend's coming to help me put all the luggage on the roof on Saturday. If everything's arrived, depending on how it goes with you, obviously, I plan to leave in the next few days. And all I wanted was to see my mom and say goodbye properly. <laughs> and it just has ended so bad and she's just once again made it that I'm this bad person everything is my fault I make everything about me oh she thinks that I need to we live in a superficial society of living and you need to have need to know how to talk like that and I'm like but you're my mum mm. do you know what I mean like I, I don't know if I'm living on the fucking wrong planet or something, but I just don't even understand why even a little bit I would want to talk about the most superficial shit like that. Mm. But she very clearly isn't interested in anything I have to say that's real because she shuts me down constantly. So it's the last time I've seen her. And it's just breaking my heart. I just... I know it wasn't my fault. I know it wasn't my fault. <laughs> and yet, I'm hurting so bad. Like, so bad. Like, self harm and suicidal thoughts kicked in immediately. <laughs> like, so bad. Like, it took everything I had not to rip my fucking arms with my nails. I just want to hurt myself. Okay. And I'm not. <laughs> I went to see if I could get a vape or cigarettes, and obviously these bans have come in, and I don't know. The laws are saying that doctors can prescribe them. I don't know if you're a doctor that can prescribe the freaking vapes that I can get from the pharmacy or not. I just, I just don't know what to do, and I, I had to get my friend to call me because I had to sit in the car. Oh, trying to wait for the volume to kick in and I don't think it's done anything and I wasn't willing to risk taking the second one because I had to drive it here and I've cried the whole way and my friend's been on the phone trying to keep me calm so I don't end up in a freaking car accident just, 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 I feel physically in pain I just I can't I don't, I don't, I don't. On the day of my graduation, we were outside afterwards and she said so. I told her how much I love her and how important she is to me. And she said, <laughs> she said that thinking about our childhood haunts her. It haunts her because of how she was. And I told her I didn't want that to be the case because she did the best she could and I know that. But today when she didn't even care, when she opened my passenger car and told me she didn't care, I told her that I never ever wanted to hear her ever say that our childhood haunted her ever again. Because mm -hmm. what she's doing now as 
adults. Mm. We're adults. It's so much worse. <laughs> and I said, don't ever tell me it haunts you again. And she's like, it doesn't. It doesn't affect me. And I'm like, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> and I know she has her own problems, but... <laughs> I was crying my eyes out. And it just made her more angry. <laughs> How does this make someone more angry? Why doesn't my mom give me a hug and tell me she loves me? Okay, well, I'll, I'd say the problem is with your mum, obviously, not with you. Okay, so don't take whatever she said on board. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> my sister and my friend said that too, but it's so hard. It is hard. It is hard. Okay. You basically, when your mum's like that, you have to almost assume you're talking to a three year old having a temper tantrum. That's what my friend said. She's like, a, she said she's like a child. Yeah, she's like a child. She's like a child having a temper tantrum. And, you know, if a three year old kid have a temper tantrum, and they say to you, I hate you and I never want to see you again, or I never want to speak to you again, um, you wouldn't take that so deeply into heart because you know that that child's just having a stupid tantrum. So if they say they hate you or whatever, whatever, you know, the next day that, that's all gone. So I want you at the moment to look after you. I know, I'm trying <laughs> I know, I realise this, it just, it just hurts so it much. Hurt, it hurts, but as I say, you have to, you have to treat it like she's a three-year-old having a temper tantrum and say stupid things. A lot of the time, when people say stupid things, it reflects on their personality rather than your personality, rather than... They, rather than what they think of you, it's actually coming from them. I get that. And I think it's probably because it's the first time anyone's called her on it. Yeah, she's, and she she's doesn't like it. She's speaking to us like that since as little as I can remember. And I've had a guts full. Yeah. And, and I was polite. All I said was, please, please don't speak to me like that. And that's fine. You didn't actually do anything wrong. That's what I think. You did nothing wrong. The way she reacts is wrong but as i say she's her and you mm -hmm. just basically go, okay if that's how you want to react to this then fine fine yeah. if, if this is what you want to say or do whatever then all right do that so what you need to do is not allow her to get to your core I know. all right you have to have, be wearing a bit of a shield of armor all right, you have to get let those insults bounce off. Okay, do not get, let them get to you. I know. Uh, it's I know it's easier said than done, but honestly, honestly, if a three-year-old kid had a temper tantrum and told you they hate you, you wouldn't be like this. My biggest fear is that she might die. And it's been left like in a bad way. And that's been my biggest fear my whole life. <laughs> and it's not that she's ill and it's not that she's going to. She's only 71, you know, and could live for another 20, 30 years. But mm. fucking... I just... I, it's not the first time she's lost it at me since getting here either. Any though, she did it to me when I was getting my eyes checked. And like... And that's the type of person she is. But you have to accept that that's the proper type. That yeah. is the type of person she is. I know. I it know. has to flow off her back. Yeah, I know. It ha you have to. I know. I you know. You have to go. Yeah, whatever. I know. And normally I can. I guess it's just that it's she's here in person, and I'm not seeing her again. And I I know you're right. And at first I was worried because my sister was. You know, saying she's stuck in the middle of it and she has to deal with mum and 
but she messaged me and she was like I'm I feel really bad for you she's like because I had to tell her to go and be a mum and, and my sister literally said she's a shit mum she does not know how to be motherly she mm. doesn't know how to do it yeah and and my sister's furious at her and she's like I cannot believe this is happening when I'm leaving and mum's leaving you know and my sister just keeps telling me to focus on all the good times that we've had. And we did. We had heaps, which was nice. Mm. And just just forget about today. I mean... Look, today's, today's, you know, everyone has shit days and, and I know. good days. Just just say, okay, today's our shit day and move on. You have to. And you have to sometimes be strong enough that insults will bounce right off you I know. okay and don't take it to your court don't let it get to you i know i know and i, I do know all of this logically i, I do. know I just... but there's a lot of practice you need to practice doing that okay i guess i just order it just feels like i'm always blamed it feels like i'm always like i said to her you know and she just made it once again, she was just able to flip it and put it on me. And, and I know what you're saying is right. And my sister and my friend, they said the same thing. It's just, at least, if anything, seeing you was the perfect time to see you. <laughs> that worked out well. Because I very much needed to see someone. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Let it, just let it slide off your back. Yeah. Thank right. you. Just definitely. And just go, yep, yeah, whatever. Mm. As long as you know that you did not do anything wrong, then that's fine, right? You haven't done a single thing wrong. If she's decided to react in this way, fine, react in that way then. Exactly. You know, say whatever, do whatever. I know what I'm doing and saying. You, I can't control what you do and you say. You just do whatever, so I don't really care. Yeah, thank you. That okay, helps. I don't really care. I tell you what, my... <laughs> Chinese parents are brutally honest, brutally. Mm -hmm. mm. And I saw my mother-in-law, um, I saw my mother-in-law a few days ago. We don't see each other very, very often. And I opened the door and she goes, my God, you've gotten fat. Oh my God. Yeah, she goes, my God, you've gotten fat. What happened to you? And I said, I said, nothing. She goes, and I had permed my hair. She goes, and what's wrong with your hair? Oh my god. Good news. And she's like, I suppose now you're going to have to buy all new clothes because you're too fat to fit in your old clothes. Oh god. And I'm like, yeah, I have had to buy some new clothes. But that's, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm used to that. Yeah. I'm used to that. And even Esri, my daughter, is used to it. You know, we've had multiple times when um my father i don't want to speak ill of him mm. because he's passed away but multiple times because um, um esri's got a little mole here and multiple times she, he he said to her that is so damn ugly can you please cut that out holy shit yeah and then um i've only got esri one child mm. and he said to us you need to adopt a son. I'm like, why? Because girls are absolutely useless. And if you are not having another child, you have to adopt a son. Oh, you're putting my life in perspective. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, that's fine, you know. And um, and now even Esri is used to it. Yeah. So I basically, every insult that comes my way, I don't let it get to my core. Look, put it this way. I know I'm overweight. I know that I've put on weight. And I know what I need to do. But you don't have to say it to me like that. Mm, no, agreed. Yeah. Right? You don't have to say it like that. Um, like saying with the hair, you could say, oh, you've changed your hairstyle. Rather yeah. than, what the hell did you do to your hair? What happened to it? Yeah, wow. I'm like, I permed it. She goes, oh, all right then. Mm. So... Your stories always make me feel so yeah, much better that, about life. That, that is what I mean by being strong. Yeah. Being very and strong. You are, right. And knowing yourself. I know knowing I didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. You just need to be strong. Yeah. And and be strong so that if an insult comes in, you go, hang on a minute. 
right? I'm going to deflect that. I'll have a listen to what you have to say, but if it doesn't make sense, off you go. Yeah, thank you. Because in the past, I've just let her talk to me like that. And, I, no, and I'm just you like, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't want to be abused for the rest of my life. No, 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 you, you, you don't need to be. So just yeah, thank you. shove whatever your mum said, just shove it down the toilet yeah, and feel, flush it. I feel better already. Because okay. so. <laughs> yeah. that's where it belongs, in the toilet. I know, and you are right. In thank the toilet. You. And you should never... You should never allow another person to make you feel inferior. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Never. Ever. Right? I you have that. to be strong. I know. And other people can try to make you feel inferior, try to feel to make you feel weak and useless and worthless and everything else, but you do not allow that to happen. Yeah. You are strong. You Thank know what you. you're doing. Mm -hmm. You are you. Okay, a lot. you are you, and it doesn't matter how many insults go flying around around you. No, I know what I am. I know who I am. I know. The only I ones know I ever get are from her. Go for it. Yeah. So, you know, I'm happy to be seeing you today for sure. Um, because if everything that I've ordered arrives, so I'm just waiting on a hard drive for downloading uni content. Sure. Um. I've pretty much packed everything. Good. Um, my friend's coming after work on Saturday to help me put it on the car and everything. Had the car serviced, had tyres all checked and changed today and everything. Yeah. Um, so I'm officially enrolled for uni this trimester, but I went through and downloaded the content yesterday and looked at everything. Yeah. And have fully accepted that... Um, I will definitely be starting in trimester three because yeah. arts degrees have like skyrocketed price wise. Every yeah. unit is now you know. twenty two thousand and forty. Yeah. Um, and that's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Um, so I'll be going up and settling in at my friends and everything first, and I've got you know the content and whatnot to um yeah to be reading during that time. So I'm excited about that. Um. So Nicole spoke to Ishan. He's increased the advance to forty because the, okay. tw the twenty was it's still like a thousand times better than Ritalin. Yeah. But I was still feeling stuck and not quite where I needed to be. So yeah. he said that we could put it to thirty or forty, and I was like, "Well, I have a couple spear. Can I just try forty to see how sure. it goes?" Sure. And he was fine with that. So he's done that. Yeah. Um. Obviously, I needed to see you in person. Mm -hmm. um, I've been getting night sweats every night for about a month. Okay. Now, I've had numerous people, including Nicole, ask me if it could be perimenopause. Um, my mum reckons her and her mum didn't even go through menopause until in their you know, mid-50s and they barely even got anything. Okay. I have no idea what it could be. Other people are saying it could be just subconscious stress all i know is i'm waking up feeling like all i'm right. swimming do you have time for a blood test before you actually yeah 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 go yeah. away go yeah. away yeah you do because you're kind of you're kind of due anyway yeah that's for your why i needed bloods. this yeah i'm um, sorry are you actually going um like i said mm. you can take that no, no, um there's no set date i mean okay. ideally I want to leave as soon as I can after the car is packed because I don't want all my stuff on sure. my car. Yeah. But I knew yeah. that you were going to need to take tests. Yeah. Um, Nicole and I already discussed that. Obviously, for blood tests, I'll get them while I'm here today. Yeah. Um, and then I'm guessing you're talking about, like, the results and things like that. Because, yeah. Yeah. I guess it's because of like whatever the result are you able to like make them urgent so to speak i guess and see what happens i don't know yeah um the sweats are really weird like i don't know if it's i've, I've got the implant on in my arm and i checked the date thing and it said it yeah. was september 2021 yeah um that it was put in but i haven't really been getting a period at okay. all it could be also of your weight. When your weight is too low, you miss oh, periods. Oh, I've 
gain 10 kilos. Oh, I, I feel, okay. I'm starting to think that freaking anorexic diagnosis might be correct, unfortunately, because now all I do is see the fat in my face and I don't like it. There is no fat in your face. You still too, look too skinny. You reckon? Yes. That's not what I see when I look at my camera. I know. Well, well trust me. Okay. Because I'm not going to lie to you. No, you're my doctor. I know. Yeah, I won't lie to you. You know that. No, of course. Well, it's good to know because I, um, yeah. Okay. I've definitely gained weight, about 10 kilos, so. That's good. That's, I've been praying for you to gain weight. Thank you. Yeah, well, I have 100%. Okay. What is the goal with these cigarette scripts? I, I don't know. I certain I don't know if you need a new uh, a special license or anything like that. Maybe while you're here, like the chemist is here, yeah, I'm just ask. drop in I'll and ask. say, D does my doctor need a special license to give me a script? To, yeah, to yep. do a script for it. Because I, I don't I no. don't do it normally. So yeah, no, I'll, I'll I'll ask for sure. The other thing I was thinking of is. Um, your thyroid yeah if your thyroid goes out of whack you'll sweat you can sweat as well yeah so good that's point. A, yeah so there's a few things i need to figure out what's going on mm -hmm. but i will put an urgent on it mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll try and get stuff done asap mm -hmm. urgent and of course this is non-fasting oh, yeah. have you had much water to drink uh, I've drunk my water bottle between on the right here. Okay. Is that, is that that whole thing? Yeah, it's empty. I was actually going to ask if there's anywhere I can fill it up. The girls at the front, I think they have a thingy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think. Um, so let's do these test, basic tests mm -hmm. and rule out the early menopause thing mm -hmm. and rule out the thyroid thing. Mm -hmm. And just make sure your kidney and, and liver mm -hmm. are functioning properly. Thank you. Does that include, and I'm probably going to say it wrong, like sugar levels and yes. whatever? It does? Yes. That's what yes. my sister mentioned. Yep, sugar level. Yep, definitely includes it. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah. And what was it being messaged me about the other day? You Something about a care plan. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this, this is, a, it's very confusing for a lot of patients. The number of visits you're allowed for Allied Health for a care plan is counted on a calendar year. So January the 1st to, to December the 31st, right. But the number of times we do paperwork on your care plan are counted in months. So every three months, every six months, every 12 months. Okay. So basically, you know, you may be due to do, or we need to do paperwork for you, but you might have used all five sessions already. Oh. But that doesn't matter because the two things don't... Man, okay. They yeah. don't... I know. It's a, it, it's Very, really yeah. stupid. Uh -huh. So the so I messaged you so mm -hmm. that basically when I do stuff on your um, mm. care plan paper, it will come up saying, oh, Dr. Toe is blah, 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 mm. blah. I saw that. And you have to say, yes, like I confirm. Yep. And then they'll tell you, they'll ask you your date of birth, yep. if you please. That. And that's it. Easy peasy. So basically, from now on, if you ever get one of those oh, thingies, just do it. Just do it. A absolutely. Yeah, just do it. You don't do the telehealth, the video ones, do you? The Zoom calls. I don't do the Zoom calls. I do the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to make sure because obviously yeah. I still want to be able to talk to you and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. So would I be right in assuming you don't leave until you have these results back? Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. So yes. do you have any idea when there might be, if I can make an appointment with you? Uh, you're going to do... Okay. I'm going to do these now. Um, so you caught me on a... All right, so I'm happy. I'm actually going to be in Sydney over the weekend. So I guess because obviously, yeah, I was going to say, we can't do phone results because in case something has to happen. Yeah, so the earliest I could see you would be like a one fifteen next Thursday. Fuck. Um, yeah, because I'm away. Yeah, and there's no way we can do it over the phone, is there, in case I need stuff done or whatever. We can still do it apart over the phone, but it will be one fifteen. Yeah, no, it's just that I ideally want to leave, like, earlier. Before that. Okay, yeah, like... 
Um, I think I'm like, not sure if we're going to do interstate ones. I wouldn't see why they'd be an issue. We can ask them when we no but I mean... Yeah, you can ask them. Yeah. I mean, I have I'm no going to have to be able to do it anyway when I'm up there if stuff goes, if I need stuff. Yeah. But it's, it's all going to be like, it's all bulk bill stuff anyway. Um... Maybe if you put me for the 115 but make it a phone and then I'll figure out and then the you sort it out and I'll let you know yeah because I mean nine times out of ten we've had these tests done and, and I get the results back and nothing's really needed to happen but um yeah you so know what we'll I mean? do it yeah I'll plonk you in mm -hmm. as a phone and as things need to be changed we'll change them yeah that'll be good Okay, so I've plonked you in. Mm -hmm. So you're away for the week? I'm away for the for like five days. Okay. Going up to see my cousin and her family. Nice. We take turns. So one year she'll come down, one year we go up. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I don't even know who I should ring. I guess if I just ring Capital Radiology and the other people and just ask and thank you and then be like, you know, if I need any more tests done. If I'm, because anytime you've ever emailed me paperwork, they just accept that wherever I go. Yeah. I don't see how it could possibly be an issue. I mean, it's Medicare across the country. Yeah. Yeah, it you is. Know? So, no, I don't know. 